Hi, Larry Stewart here with 4constructionpros.com. We're uh, getting ready for Con Expo 2017 with John Bauer from Case. He's their brand marketing manager for uh, dozers, excavators, and graders. Graders. I knew I was going to get one of them wrong. <laughs> uh, John, thanks a lot for getting together with us before no the problem, show. Larry. I know you guys are busy. Talk to us about uh, the machine that we're standing in front of. Is this is this a new biggest size for Case? Yes, it is. Uh, it's the largest that we have in the D series excavators. Uh, this is the first one that we brought into North America. Mm -hmm. It's a CX750D, mm -hmm. and uh, the thing weighs, it's 158,300 pounds, coming in at 512 horsepower, and uh, it also has a 75,000 pound digging force uh, at the bucket. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. This model here is replacing our CX700B mm -hmm. and also the CX800B that we had in the previous model. That's interesting. Uh, how how is it replacing two machines? I mean, there, was there was there one? Or is it is it positioned between those two? Or it's basically we changed the nomenclature on it. Mm -hmm. This here would uh, the CX700D is typically replaced in our CX700B model. Mm -hmm. The CX800B model that we had was for mass excavation. Okay. So with this CX750D model, we also have a mass excavation model as well, which is a different arm and boom length mm -hmm. uh, for, for speed and power. What distinguishes this machine from other machines in this size class in the marketplace today? Well, with this uh, in particular, uh, we're tier four final. We've got a tier four final solution that we're actually utilizing in a SCR solution mm -hmm. with a DOC, which is a diesel oxidation catalyst. But and no filter, no diesel. No filter, filter, no DPF on okay. it at all. So there's no regeneration, which allows this machine to operate at full power uh, and put all the power that it has into the hydraulics rather than going through a regeneration cycle. Talk to me a little bit about uh, the hydraulic system on this machine. That's where all the work gets done, right? Sure, yes. Uh, what we're taking and utilizing is a new electronic control pump uh, with new larger spool valves in it and uh, there's sensors throughout the hydraulic system and what it will do is take in and sense when a regeneration could be had with either a boom up, boom down, and take a hydraulic re regeneration. Hy so we're correct. not confusing people with the engine. Thing. Absolutely. Yeah. And it'll take and uh, use that regen the hydraulic regeneration uh, to take and improve fuel efficiency and also, uh, you know, repower that hydraulic so it's going and being utilized in a different area. We have three working modes with this system. Okay. And the working modes that we have is a speed priority, a automatic and um, uh, a heavy load. So if you're operating this machine and there's no demands on the hydraulics at all, one of the systems will actually shut down, it'll lower the RPMs to an idle okay. for fuel efficiency so that you're not you know, expending more fuel than you need to at that time. Talk about the applications for those those three modes. Speed priority is something I assume you obviously you're truck yes. loading? or If you're truck loading or in an application where you're uh, you're just going fast and, and, and loading or just moving dirt, uh, the operators then have the capability to go to speed priority. And I assume that the, the, tr the, the trade-off there is, is that maybe a little less power, you don't want to be doing max effort kind of work. Correct, with, and, it's not, and it's not as efficient on the fuel either. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, the heavy, just as that is if you're in a heavy load type situation um, where you need more hydraulic power. Uh, the operator then will take an operating heavy. The automatic is your most fuel efficient mm. and it lets the machine sense where the hydraulics need to go. I see. So there's a little a little fuel efficiency deficit in that heavy lift mode or Correct. that heavy mode as well. Heavy and SP, yes. Yeah. Uh, this particular model has what we call our maximum view monitor on it, which is a uh, we've got cameras on the rear of the machine, we've got cameras on both the left and the right hand side. And what it does is on our seven inch display monitor in the cab, it will take and tie in all three of those cameras to create a 270 degree aerial view uh, of the machine, um, which is important for safety yeah. and uh, kind of gives the operator a little awareness of what's behind him and what's also on his side. What steps has Case taken to make this, this machine easily transportable? I mean, are, there, are there some features there? This particular model uh, has a retractable undercarriage on it, okay. which allows you to take and narrow the machine up uh, to take and uh, transport it much easier. Mm. Um, 
there are a few items you all take the catwalks off and, and slide the uh, undercarriage in, but this, this particular model has a retractable undercarriage. One other feature that this, uh, the CX750D has on it has the optional uh, counterweight removal tool on it. So uh, if you get into a weight restriction, you can take and uh, easily remove that counterweight without uh, bringing in another excavator or a crane to lift it off.